Today's topic is degree of vertices. So this topic is from graph theory and this is the most most interesting topic today. And related to the degree of the vertices, I am going to explain what is an isolated vertex, end vertex, pendant, what is an odd and even vertices, in degree, out degree and uh, total degree and score and sync. See here, let's get started to find out what is the degree of a vertices. So, the degree of a vertex of an undirected graph, so there is no direction to the graph, is the number of edges incident with it. See here, for example, if you see V1, so V1 is a vertex and we have to find out the degree of V1. See how many edges are incident towards it, V1. So, there are two edges related to V1. So, this is 1 and 2. Therefore, the degree of V1 is equal to 2. And see here, except that a loop at a vertex contributes twice to the degree of that vertex. Mm -hmm. If you consider a loop, so we have to take the degree as 2. As it is an undirected graph, for, for every loop we have to add up one more. That is, uh, the loop, the degree is 2. And next one, the degree of that vertex. The degree of the vertex i in a graph G is denoted by degree vi. See here. There is an example here. So, we have to find out the degree of each vertex of a graph. So, this is the graph. So, for this graph, for each and every vertex. So, what is a vertex? V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. So, the dots or the points or the nodes are the vertices. And the connecting line is nothing but the edge. So, we have to count the edges instant to that vertex so that will be the degree so for v1 so this is h1 and h2 therefore the degree of v1 is equal to 2 and next coming to the vertex to v2 so how many edges are there so there are four edges instant towards v2 that is 1 2 3 4 and therefore the degree of v2 is equal to 4 and next coming to v3 so how many edges are there so here 1 2, this is 3 and this is 4 and therefore the degree of V3 is equal to 4 and coming to next V4, so V4, so there are only 2 edges, so there are only 2 edges instant with it, that is 1 and 2, therefore the degree here is 2 and coming to V5, so V5 is here and the edges incident with it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the degree here is 4. And next, coming to V6. So, this is V6. And how many edges are there instant with it? 1, 2, 3 and 4. And therefore, the degree here is 4. So, is it not easy? So, here, see here. The degree of a vertex of an undirected graph. There is no direction for that graph. Is the number of the edges incident with it. So, we have to count the edges which are instead with it, except that the loop of a vertex contribute twice to the degree of that vertex. If there is any loop, we have to um, consider it as two times. See here. So, this is the degree of the vertex. And next again, there is an, another example here. So, coming to this loop here, there is a loop here. See here, find the degree of the vertex of this graph. So, how to find out the... Um, Degree of this graph, this is a multiple graph. So, they are parallel edges and the loop. So, this is nothing but the pseudo graph. So, you can uh, watch all these uh, definitions uh, in my previous video. I have explained you what are parallel edges, what is a loop, what is a pseudo graph, what is multiple graph, what is a simple graph. So, you can learn from it. And now coming to this graph. So, we, what, where are the vertices V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. So, these are all the vertices. And we have to count the degree of each and every vertex. And coming to V1 here. So, how many edges are incident with it? This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, 4 and 5. Therefore, the degree of V1 is 5. And next one, coming to V2. So, here is V2. So, V2. With respect to V2, how many edges are there? This is 1, 2 and 3. So, therefore, the degree here is 3. And next one coming to V3 here. See, well, here is a loop here. So, we have to consider in this way and this way also. We have to consider whenever there is loop, we have to take it, uh, consider it as 2. In this direction, 1 and in this direction, 1. So, total 2. That is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 
so therefore the degree of v3 is 5 so please remember this one as there is a loop we have to take it for twice the next one coming to v4 how many edges are there instant with v4 1 2 3 4 and therefore the degree here is 4 and coming to v5 there is only one edge instant with it therefore the degree here of v5 is 1 and next what is an isolated vertex see here it's very clear a vertex of degree 0 is called an isolated vertex so here a b c d are four vertices and see here the degree of a is 2 and the degree of c is 2 and degree of d is 2 whereas there is no edge connecting with any one of the vertices therefore this is an isolated vertex and next one what is end vertex a vertex v of degree 1 is called an end vertex and see here in this diagram so we have to consider so this is the diagram for this so this is a and this is b so for a the edge is one the degree is here one and for b also one therefore the vertex the vertex v of degree one is called the end vertex and next coming to pendant a vertex is pendant if and only if it has degree one so if any vertex is having degree 1. So, that vertex is called the pendant. See here, this is the pendant. And next, coming to the odd and even vertices. When do you say that the vertex is odd and even? So, we have to check the degree of each and every vertex here. So, a vertex of a graph is called an odd vertex or an even vertex. See here, it's an odd vertex or an even vertex. Depending upon whether its degree is odd or even so we have to check the degree here so we have to check the degree of the given vertex so consider this diagram see as you know that v1 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 they are four five edges instant to v1 therefore 5 this is an odd vertex so v1 is odd and v2 is again odd v3 is again odd and next v4 is even and v5 is odd so so, in this way, we can say that the given vertex is an odd vertex or even vertex depending upon the degree of that vertex. And next one, what is a regular graph? See here. So, regular graph is nothing but if all the vertices of G have the same degree. So, this is also depending upon degree concept. Therefore, if all the vertices of G have same degree, then the graph is called the regular graph. If we have a same degree. We say that it's a regular graph. See examples of regular graph is this one. See here. The degree of V1 is 2. The degree of V2 is. There are two edges here. 2. Degree of V3. There are two edges instant to V3. 2. V4. Again 2. So this is a regular graph. And next one coming to this. And this is also. There are four vertices. V1, V2, V3 and V4. Coming to V1. The degree here is. There are three edges incident with v1 therefore the degree of v1 is 3 and degree of v2 is 3 degree of v3 is again 3 and degree of v4 is again 3 so this is also a regular graph so if you maintain the same degree throughout the graph then we say that it's a regular graph an example so if it is degree 2 we say this as a square square graph and if the degree is a uh, three toward the vertices then we say that it's a cubic graph so next one the next most important thing is in degree and out degree so what is an in degree and what is an out degree so this is also an interesting topic see here the in degree is the of a vertex of an directed graph so here there should be a directed graph for in degree and out degree is the number of edges ending at v see here ending at v so, in degree, we have to count the number of edges which are ending, which are towards 2. So, if it's V1, so it should be towards V1. So, this is inside V1. So, this is nothing but the number of edges ending at V. And next, what is an out degree? So, out degree of a vertex of a directed. So, here also we have to consider a directed graph is the number of edges beginning at v see here so this is a v1 so it has to start from v1 so it should be outside outside towards uh, uh, the other edge so this is nothing but 
the out degree and next the sum of in degree and out degree of a vertex is called the total degree of the vertex total degree of the vertex so this is about the in degree out degree and total degree and next one a vertex with zero in degree is called a source if the given vertex has an zero in degree then this is called a source then that vertex is called a source and a vertex with zero out degree is called a sink see here remember this is called source and this is called sink and next one here is an example how to find in degree out degree and total degree of the given graph see so this is a directed graph there are so many directions there are direction for each and every edge of of this graph and see here we have to calculate the in degree so for v1 what is inward graphs so there is no inside graph so all are going outside so the in degree graph is zero here and next for v2 so here v2 so in inside one edge and outside one edge so inside so this is one and this is two therefore the degree here is two and coming to v3 so inside graph so so inward direction this is one two three and this is four and therefore here the in degree is four and coming to four what are inward um, edges so this is towards v v4 so inside v4 so the degree here for v4 is one and next out degree see here for v1 what is an out degree here so one two three outside the other vertex that is one two and three so therefore the out degree here is three and coming to v2 out degree is so here we have to consider this as inward and outward so for outward one and next one coming to v3 outward degree so all the four are inwards towards v3 there are no um, there are no edges which are beginning from v3 therefore here it is zero and next four outward we need outward degree so there is uh, there are three outward one two three so three therefore the total degree is nothing but see we have to add up these two zero plus three so this is nothing but three and this is uh, nothing but three and if you add zero four plus zero this is four and this is one plus three this is four so this is how we have to calculate in degree out degree total degree so Hope you all guys understand the topic today. That is, I have discussed isolated vertex, n vertex, pendant, source, sink, odd, odd vertex, even vertex, and regular graph, total graph, inward degree, outward degree. So, thank you so much for watching, and hope you are all clear with these uh, definitions. And please pass it on to your friends if you really like. Raise your thumb and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you so much.